Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we'll be going over a little indie game called A Short Hike. So without further ado, let's get started. The story is about a young bird named Claire, who looks an awful lot like a penguin, goes on a vacation with her aunt because she wants to take her mind off of things. And when they get there, Claire is expecting a phone call from her mom. Unfortunately for her, there is no reception on the island, except, of course, for the summit at the top of the mountain. And the whole game is about getting up there. And that's really it. That's the whole game is getting on top of the mountain. So a short hike is exactly what it sounds like, because it's actually a pretty short game that can be beaten in a couple hours, which doesn't sound great, but when you consider the price, it's not that bad at all. But the length is a bit short for me. I would have loved more places to go and see, but again, it's like $8, so I can't complain that much. The point of the game is to go up on the mountain so you can get a call from mom. However, you need these golden feathers to help you. Golden feathers are used for climbing, jumping, and running. It's kind of like your stamina bar in Breath of the Wild. You'll find some randomly or you'll buy them from a moody college student. The point of the game is just to explore and hang out. You can even rent a boat and cruise around in the water. Or you can even play beach volleyball with a stick. It's really up to you and how much you want to get out of this game. If you just want to beat the game and go up to the mountain, it'll take you about an hour or two to beat. But if you do all the other side stuff around the island, you'll get a couple more hours added to your gameplay, which does make the price point even more appealing. The graphics are what actually got me to get this game because it reminds me of these legends on the DS. What's cool is that there's actually options for the graphics in the games so that if you want the game to be less pixelated, then you can just adjust it to your liking. Me personally, I prefer to have it DS quality when it's handheld. And for TV mode, I like to have it a bit sharper. Overall, I love the graphics and the art style. It really does make the game stand out amongst others. That and it just brings a nostalgic feeling to me. Overall, if you're looking for a quick, fun game that isn't too demanding, then a short hike would be a good game to get. It's not expensive, but it is short, and you can complete it in a few hours, so just beware of that. Anywho, let me know in the comments below what you think of the game. Is the hike too short, or was the price justified for the gameplay? Thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.